Hey friends, welcome back. It's great to see you. I'm Courtney. And today I'm going to be talking about how I went from a size 12 to a size 4. I know that's very clickbaity, but YouTube has not been showing my YouTube videos to my subscribers lately, so I figured I might as well go for a clickbait title. Usually I suck at writing them. This one kind of wrote itself. So yeah, I, I work hard to create content for you, and I'm really frustrated with YouTube right now. I'm really frustrated with how they seem to be suppressing videos to our subscribers. It just, it sucks. I've had so many of you reach out to me to tell me you haven't seen my videos because YouTube isn't showing them to you and that you're surprised that I have a new video out. I'm going to insert a trigger warning here for anybody who needs a trigger warning because I'm going to be talking about weight in my body and my own body issues that I have had to fight and um, stuff like that. So if this is something that's going to be upsetting for you, I would say watch something else. I'll insert another video up here. In fact, if you haven't seen it yet, you can go watch my latest Chilling Adventures of Sabrina inspired lookbook. Okay, so about a year ago, my friend Jesse asked me if I'd ever tried the keto diet. And I said no, I didn't think it would work for me. I've tried, at that point I tried a lot of different diets and hadn't really found anything that worked. I, Ray and I had been going to the gym for about two and a half, almost three years, and we're lifting weights, we're working out three to four days a week, and we put on a lot of muscle and toned up, and we're in really good, you know, good shape, but we never were able to really lose the weight that we had. So I knew I was struggling with having really bad eating habits, and even though I couldn't admit it to myself, I had some really unhealthy eating habits, um, like with binge eating and deprivation, stuff like that, that I just was not, I, I, didn't, I couldn't really talk about it and feel comfortable talking about it. So Jesse knew that I was, my, my BFF Jesse, best friend forever Jesse, she knew I was really frustrated with it and she suggested keto because she had started on keto and it was working for her. And so I started researching the basics of it and went, well, okay, I'll see if this works for me because it's a really radical shift in my diet. It's completely different from what Ray and Dave are, are, they are doing. So Dave decided to do it with me and Ray was like, still no. So Dave and I started doing it. And of course, because men are men, Dave lost weight right away. Men always seem to lose weight really fast. It took three weeks before I saw any weight loss, but that really wasn't the important part in my opinion, at least not initially, what was going on for me was much more psychological because I was breaking a lot of my bad eating habits and retraining new good habits. Um, I used to be, I would do stuff like where I would just starve myself or whatever and then like binge at night and then I feel guilty for having binged on whatever I would eat. So I went slow with keto. I started, you know, trying to break my sugar addiction and that was the big thing. And I think breaking the sugar addiction was probably the best thing that I did for myself because then I no longer was trapped every night where I'm like, I need to have ice cream, I need to have cake, I need to have something sweet. I was able to break out of that. And fast forward to, I don't know, like this is something I've maintained for a year. So I've been able to stay with my, I call this a, a keto lifestyle as opposed to the keto diet because I wanted to literally shift my all of my eating habits and make this a permanent lifestyle change. I was not looking for a quick fix. I was not looking for a fad diet. So I worked on making permanent changes to my diet, how I thought about food and what I was putting in my body. I had already fixed my issues with soda by quitting soda a couple of years ago. I started drinking more water a couple of years ago. I quit caffeine. Like I, I've been doing little things over the past couple of years. So basically, I think whenever I started working out is when I started trying to really fix a lot of my problems. But I hadn't been able to fix this until I went on the keto. So a lot of that for me was figuring out well, what should I be putting in my body every day. And I had to cut out a lot of processed foods because a lot of the processed foods have, like everything has sugar in it. Everything has fucking sugar added, so it's really hard. When I started doing my own keto baking, everything was better. Oh, I should also point out that the other thing that really helped me was being a medical marijuana patient and having specific strains of medical marijuana to um, have access to. The particular strains of medical marijuana that I vape for my anxiety also apparently have appetite suppressants built in. I didn't know that, but they do. So for me, it has been a combination of changing my eating habits in a radical fashion over time and using medication that also kind of helps reinforce those. So rather than getting the munchies, I don't get them, which is great. I just didn't know that until I recently was talking to somebody at the, at the medical marijuana dispensary and they're like, yeah, the strains that you seem to, to really take to are ones that have um, appetite suppressants. So I was like, okay, that's great. So when I say keto lifestyle, what I mean by that is I'm trying to eat low sugar, 
low carb, high fat, and medium protein. Eating keto requires me to eat more meat than I am comfortable or than I was comfortable eating uh, because I, you know, for a while I tried to be vegan, I tried to be vegetarian, um, I dated a vegan for five years. I tried to basically cut out as much meat from my, my diet as possible, and for me, what I was doing was unhealthy. So it's taken me a long time to get to where one, I'm comfortable with food, two, I'm eating healthy. And three, I'm able to basically do it without having to count calories anymore and be stressed. Because that was also another thing, is that when I was trying to log my food all the time, it would stress me out, especially if I saw that I went over a calorie count or if I wasn't like getting my macros just right. And for some reason, for me, trying to eat keto has been very natural because a lot of what I will eat in a day is very high fat food. So I'll eat like a whole avocado at least a whole avocado every day and I think it's been great for my hair, it's been great for my skin, um, probably been great for my brain. But I also do, you know, eat, do things like eat cheese or cheese wrapped in meat. Um, I eat chicken thigh, I eat fish. I eat a lot of uh, green beans and salad. I love salad now because I crave it all the time. Like, it was crazy to me because of how basically, it was crazy to me how basically Going on keto, doing the deprivation, like like cutting out all the stuff, basically reset my taste buds and made it so that that vegetables taste better. And I'm very sensitive now to artificial sweeteners. Like I can't stand some of them; they just ruin the taste of food to me. I'm like, this is disgusting. How did I ever put this in my body? That happened recently with um, muscle milks. I used to drink muscle milks all the time. They're a great protein drink. But for whatever reason, I can't stand the taste of them any, anymore. They just taste absolutely foul and disgusting to me. And it makes me so sad because they're a great way to get a bunch of protein. <laughs> what I've, I know a lot of people want to know what I've been doing for exercise. And the truth is, I haven't really been exercising. I do walk with the dogs. I have a goal of doing 10,000 steps a day. Sometimes I do twice that. Sometimes I don't do that at all. But really, the only exercise I've had has been walking with the dogs, which I should do every day because it's good for you to walk every day. I haven't been lifting weights. I really need to get my ass back into the gym to lift weights. The reason I want to start lifting weights again is because I don't want to end up like my grandmother who, when she was 95, couldn't pick up her great-grandchildren because she just didn't have the arm strength anymore. So I feel like it's really important for me to continue weightlifting to start back at it and everything just so that I can stay strong and fit and healthy for more of my life. <laughs> I guess what I can say that I did to go from a size 12 to a size 4 was I radically shifted my eating habits and that made more of a difference for me than going to the gym for three years. And I don't know if that will work for anyone else, but that is my story and that is my struggle. I don't think that losing weight is easy. Um, Something else I want to point out, at least mentally for me, that I struggle with, when I look in the mirror, I don't feel like I look different than I did a year ago. And I've had to take pictures and put pictures side by side. When I put pictures side by side, I can see the difference in my body. But just when I look down at myself in the morning in the shower every day, I feel like I look the same as I did a year ago. I don't feel like my body looks smaller. I don't feel like my body looks better. I just feel like it looks like me. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I hope it's a good thing. But I do know that... I've been struggling with some body image because it's hard for me to see the changes in my body. Like, I know I physically am different, I am physically smaller, and I just don't really see it easily at all. So I've tried talking with um, my therapist about it to see if there's... I need to talk with my therapist about it to see if there are exercises I can do to kind of help with that. If you're somebody who's curious about making a big change, I would say talk to your doctor, find out what's viable for you. When I went and did keto, I did not ask my doctor because I knew my doctor hated the keto diet. My doctor has been a big proponent of the Mediterranean diet for years. He's always slammed Atkins. So I never tried Atkins and I, I never tried anything. Like the other th stuff I tried didn't work for me. This is what worked for me. So yeah, I would, I would talk to somebody to see if it's something that you want to do. But I'm not saying anybody else should do it. I'm just saying this is what I've been doing and it's been working for me. All right, so now that I've made myself vulnerable and talked about this stuff with you, I guess let me know your thoughts.